hello friends in this video we will be practicing some pattern printing programs so that iteration of loop is quite clear to you so let's begin we will write the code for the above pattern ok this is the main function Okay, you have to take the n as input, which is the number of lines. Means you can see here how many lines pattern is there that will be in n. Okay, so that we have to parse it into an integer. A t o i is the function which is used. Okay, now. We will do a simple check over here that whether argument count sorry is not equal to 2. If it's not equal to 2, then we will simply come out of the program. Exit 1. Okay. <coughs> now, if we have that entered, a, I means entered how many lines of pattern do we need, then let's print it out how it can be done. You can, I can show it to you i equals to 1 semicolon i is less than equals to n semicolon i plus plus ok so this is the outer loop is used basically for the number of lines in the pattern ok and we use the another loop that is the j loop is equals to 1 j is less than equal to i semicolon j plus plus now you need to understand this why it's given like this j is less than equals to i see while observing the pattern we find that in the first line there is one star in the second line that is there is two star three third line three stars so what we are basically seeing that the number of stars in a line is dependent upon the number of that line okay so first line first star uh, second line two stars third line three stars so that's why we are giving here j is less than equals to i that means what in when i is 1 j will be 1 and only one time the condition will be satisfied okay and when j i is 2 then for j 1 and j 2 will get 2 stars so that is how the pattern is getting printed so let's use the printf statement sorry we are needing star out here so we will print directly a star and here is the most important thing that is that we have to use here printf backslash n so here why backslash n is used it means the new line new line because after every time the i loop is over the first iteration after the first iteration of i loop we have to move to the second line so this is very important otherwise all the stars will get printed in a single line ok so we have done everything and now return 0 ok I will save the program and let's see if it executes or gives us any error gcc space panel space test so we have not declared uh, i and j so basically it will give an error now let's save and see if there is any other error it's fine okay so now if you want uh, 5 means 5 lines so here it is test Six, six lines. Test three, three lines. So that is how it's work. It works. Okay. Now the next question is that if you want to have any number printed, suppose I want here the pattern would have been instead of this the pattern would have been one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, like this. So only what was needed is we could have changed the 
so if uh, something like this was there then only what was needed is that you could have changed the value of here you could have printed is at percentage d comma j okay now let's save it and see whether we are getting the desired output or not no yes so let's see that is the or let me explain it why how it is coming see what we are basically doing here is that for every i value okay so i is one here j is being traversed from one to one okay and j is printed one for i value two j is being traversed one and one is being printed then j value becomes two that is also the condition is satisfied because i value is two out for the next iteration and then two is printed similarly for i value three one two three for i value four one two three four so that is how it is getting printed okay now then the next pattern if something is given like this to you one two two three 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 four 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 five 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 five, five okay something like this is given then what can you how can you do just change the value to here as i okay now let's see the result whether it works or not <coughs> sorry yeah test 5 so we are getting the result here what we are doing is the j loop is used for the number of iterations in a particular line okay and for every iteration of j loop the corresponding i value is printed so for first time i value 1 j loops run one time and prints what is the value of i one time for i value 2 j loop runs two time two times and therefore two is printed twice similarly th for third with i value 3 three times four four times and five five times okay so i hope you all understood it and if you have any queries kindly post it in comments below thank you